Hello everybody, this is me, the ITKHQ, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install iOS 7 Beta 1 on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Now, as of right now, the iOS 7 Beta 1 is available only for iPhone and iPod Touch 5th generation, as Apple is still preparing the iOS 7 for large screen devices, including iPad mini and iPad 2 and 3 and 4. Now, in this video, I will talk to you guys through all the steps, and I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, install iOS 7 safely and easily on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Now first of all, uh, the iOS 7 is supported by iPad mini, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPod 5, as well as the iPhone 4, 4S and 5. Now first of all, if you're not an Apple certified developer, you need to activate your UDID from the help of a developer. But first of all, let me tell you, show you guys from where you guys can get your UDID number. Now first way is by using iTunes. Connect your iPhone to your computer, open up iTunes, and under Devices, click your iPhone name. Then you will see a serial number. Click on it and you will see your UDID. Now in order to copy it, just press Ctrl C if you're on Mac or if you're on PC, and you are done. Now you can use an app from an app store called UDID Tools that shows your, your UDID and then you can easily copy it and then simply email it to your developer. Now in order to register your UDID, you can use sites like earlyios.com, iosbetas.com or the good old imzdl.com. These websites cost $8 to $10 for registering one UDID. Now once registration is done, the complex part is over. Now all you have to do is download uh, the iOS 7 beta 1. For this, go to imzdl.com, links to all the links will be all down below in the description and go to iOS betas. Choose your iPhone or iPod Touch. Make sure you download the correct one for your device. So, so as of right now there's only no mirrored links available. So go for the torrent. Uh, it works perfectly as well and it's actually quite fast. So once you have downloaded now all you have to do is install it on your iPhone or iPod. The best way to do is by restoring. So go back to iTunes and make sure that your iPhone or iPod is still connected and showing up on iTunes. Then all you have to do is press shift and click restore. It will give you a pop-up window and will prompt you to choose your iOS file, which obviously is going to be iOS 7, beta 1 that we just downloaded from imzdl.com. Press OK and that's it. You are done. So iTunes now will give, do its thing. It will update your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch to the latest iOS 7 firmware. However, you will most likely lose all your messages, photos, and you actually have to start all fresh or all over again. Now here are some key points to take note of. First of all, uh, according to some sites, you cannot go back to iOS 6 once we have been updated to iOS 7 beta 1. Also, number two, all uh, that as of right now, iOS 7 beta 1 is a lot buggy and it's also going to affect your battery life. So do this on a secondary device if you have an iPhone 4S or probably any older device which is still supported by iOS 7. Do it on that, not on your main device. So the betas for the iPad will be released in a week or so. So I'll make uh, the videos on them once it's uh, available. Make sure you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.